This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and got to see the new trailer for The Last of Us 2. Got a release date. February 21st. Yes. 2020. Looking at it on my screen now. Just to make sure because I don't want to be totally incorrect. Um, and as I said in this first part of this video, which if you don't know, this has been split up in two parts because I wanted to focus more on the game in the first one and then focus on the reaction in this one. So, um, you know, February 21st, exciting, probably going to be for the PlayStation 5 as well and 4. Um, we'll find out, uh, definitely. Um, about the PlayStation 5 sometime soon I'm sure so we'll get a sense of how this is gonna work hopefully it's a like thing where if you buy the PlayStation 4 version you can still use it on the PlayStation 5 like backwards compatibility will be there for the something that close um, again not that I really care about backwards compatibility that's just one of those things that I've never um, had an issue with because if I was going to continue to play the older stuff i probably would um keep my console if it was console but at the same time i do understand why it's important to a lot of people um and i think moving forward to be quite honest with the way the technology is it probably should be um a staple i think with the playstation 4 sony has got to the point where they're comfortable with doing it as long as it's at an affordable rate because it doesn't seem like we're going to get this monumental technological leap anymore it's consoles have pretty much come become like computers like where there are technological leaps it's still within the same frame and structure you'll get no more power core shit like you used to get back in the day with sony they're going to stick to that amd framework so that it's a lot more easier to progress over each generation um, I think and Microsoft has been doing it um, for a bit so although it was weird that there wasn't a backwards compatibility component at the beginning of the Xbox one but again they're built on they've always been built on a more PC based structure anyway so the translation is a lot easier and I'm glad they're both going to be able to do that moving forward for people Especially so we can keep the conversations to a minimum that are ridiculous about things like this. Now, let's get to a super ridiculous conversation. Last of Us 2 will not have multiplayer. And people are losing their goddamn minds over this. Now, if you played The Last of Us 1 and you played the multiplayer, you realize the multiplayer was actually pretty damn good. It was better than expected. It's funny how Naughty Dog is able to insert these, like multiplayer modes into games that people just assume are going to be just strong you know single player campaigns and that the multiplayer is attacked on they did that with uncharted 2 the, the noise with uncharted 2 is like oh my god they're just tacking on multiplayer just because and it turned out that uncharted multiplayer became something that people really really enjoyed and, and grew a significant fan base over the next three games um so with this this is a bit of a shock because again they had another successful multiplayer venture and people were probably looking forward to it and now they're not going to get it some people are looking forward to it a little too much because people have lost their goddamn minds they have been like and it's been mostly grown ass fucking men which bothers the fuck out of me of course the majority of these people that i'm talking about are content creators which you can question whether or not they're that upset anyway because I say this all the time as a content creator to people who don't create content be careful about the opinions of some people because people know that it's very very marketable to raise hell about things like you do because you find that entertaining you find that attractive you find it endearing to how you feel and they'll manipulate that shit and act a fool over that for no reason when they shouldn't act a fool just like you shouldn't act a fool over the fact that this doesn't have multiplayer. I mean, look, I get it. You really, really like the multiplayer. Something that you enjoyed. You wanted to see an advancement, a refinement. You're not going to get it. That is disappointment. I, I 
totally understand disappointment. But is it to the point where we have these people just ready to petition, ready to, you know, destroy consoles, do all types of dumb shit, out here cursing out people who don't feel the same way about them, you know, calling them all a bunch of names and stuff like that because they're not as enraged or pissed as you are. Things like that. The silliness, you know, and it's the normal silliness of this era, you know. Social media era, everybody is able to speak and voice their opinions. And some don't know how to actually voice their opinions in a constructive way because of the way social media is designed. So you get a lot of bullshit crying, bitching, and moaning like you have over this. And I'm just, again, the grown men, especially the grown ass men who are content creators who've been like fucking going back and forth, arguing, screaming. Is it all types of like slurs and things towards Naughty Dog and people who don't agree with them? It's like, yo, y'all are a bunch of fucking idiots. And again, I think like a lot of it is due to like they probably were looking at it as, oh, here comes my next lick. Especially if you were someone who was huge on um, the multiplayer and you got a lot of content out of that and a lot of um, attention and views and revenue from that yeah you're gonna fucking be screaming bloody murder because you feel like you're missing an opportunity to cash in um which means to me says that you're not really that you wouldn't be that upset if the money wasn't involved in turn there's some who are just like that super fucking passionate about it and just feel like they're gonna lose all hope like there's nothing they can do because they don't have something to play <sighs> i don't know what to tell you diversify your game uh your gaming seriously like i get it like i have my favorites but if something goes away if i really want a game i'll replace that shit i'm not gonna sit here and scream to the top of my lungs like there are times where i'll be like yo that's fucked up but it goes no further than that some of y'all take it way too far and it's gonna be um pretty hectic over the next couple of weeks because these people are gonna lose their fucking mind again some of them are going to do that just for the um, sake of entertainment and to draw you guys in to help them make money. Fair enough. Um, if that's what people want to see, shit. You know, it's not my way of going about things. Hence why I'm probably broke. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't be mad at you for taking advantage of what the um, crowd wants. Um, you know. I don't have to like it, but I'm not going to be mad at people for it. And again, it's just too much. The reaction is just way too much. Like, come on, guys. Seriously. I'm curious as to how many people aren't going to play The Last of Us because there is no multiplayer. And I'm curious to know how many people out there only play The Last of Us for the multiplayer and never touch the single player. I mean, that happens. That sometimes happens. Um, but I'm willing to bet that at the end of the day, most of these people who are crying, bitching, and moaning. We'll play The Last of Us. We'll enjoy the hell out of it. And then we'll go back to crying and bitching and Mona, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, if you're really that upset, I say this again all the time as well. Then don't buy it. Show them with your wallet. Take the money out of their pockets. And then if they see it like affect them that much, they'll make the necessary changes. But screaming and raving and ranting like a goddamn two-year-old. Yo, people need to stop that. And companies, y'all need to stop fucking bowing down to this childish juvenile behavior. It's dumb. It's dumb. People need to learn how to, like, accept things and move on sometimes. Like, you can't just, nah. And again, for the last time I'll say this. This is something I also say a lot. You would put half of the fucking passion that you put in over this whole Oh my god, I can't play Naughty Dog's multiplayer in Last of Us. They fucking suck. All that shit. You put all that energy that you put into like bitching and moaning about shit like that into real world shit. World might be a little better place because people might be more pressed to action. Like, you ain't solving no problems by intimidating a bunch of programmers into giving you a game mode. You just like making things worse because now you feel emboldened to do this over any dumb shit you want. 
and you're not even like taking that energy towards something beneficial to life only some like small selfish petty um want in the grand scheme of things like yo you can live without the fucking last of us multiplayer seriously y'all can y'all really can you'll be fine and you'll have other shit that you can play if you again don't like it don't buy it go play something else simple stop this ranting and raving y'all come on god fucking damn i say as i rant and rave about people who rant and rave so yes i call myself out as well <laughs> on this anyway as always you guys feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and i'll haunt you later this is your boy black makers in the mouth deuces